West Jordan Elementary School was a school that had been open for 41 years. It was built back in 1982, and it was supposed to be a school that was used to help with the growing population of the West Jordan area as it kept booming and growing. They built it and thought it would last about 20, probably 10, 15, 20 years, as it was just made out of a couple um, just rooms kind of all put together to make the school. And they, they built it due to the growing population. And in the... In the kjazz.com article that I have, they reference in there, or there's a there's somebody who is on the Jordan School District Board, and she her name is Jen Atwood, and in the article she says, quote, it was intended to be a 20-year school, and it was intended to actually kind of be moved with growth and needs of the area, close quote. West Jordan Elementary School was meant to be not a long-term school, but it eventually became one. And as it became a more, as it kept going through that, it passed 1990, the 2000s, 2010, 2020. And then they had a surveyor come in and look at the school and the structure of everything. And the surveyor said that the school was not structurally safe. And the board also looked at the declining numbers of West Jordan Elementary. Parents and uh, a lot of people in the community were very unhappy to hear the news that they were going to be closing the school. And the school has officially been closed and shut down and torn down now. And it has affected the parents, the children that went to Western Elementary, and the people who worked there. The people who worked there, I have, my own mother worked there. She, <clears throat> She's had troubles finding jobs and... There was lots of other people who were trying to find jobs, like teachers at the time, because they needed a job to pay the bills. And they closed the school for good, like I said, for deterioration and for what was going on is they brought in a professional and they cast a vote as board members and made that decision. And in the KSL News Radio article, which I have linked as well, the... President of the Board of Education, Tracy Miller for Jordan School District, uh, said, she said, quote, there is deterioration in the floor framing elements as well in the wood framing, close quote. And so right there she was saying that just the framing of the school was structurally unsafe. Parents tried to fight as long as they could, and they tried to do as many things as they could. And there are some parents who were very unhappy when it came to certain things that were going on. Uh, there was a parent named Douglas Greenwood, and he said, in a quote, they started the process. It's a 120-day process to review. We had the first actual Q&A session last night. This article was written back in September of 2022. And like he, and so in September, uh, uh, September 21st when they had that meeting. But continuing with the quote, that's two months into 60 days. That's half the time of the whole time frame of deciding to close a school, said Douglas Greenwood. So he is he was a part of a group with a lot of connected parents. The school, like I said, has been officially closed, shut down. There's a lot of students who are struggling and going through a process where they have to go from having friends at this school to, to other friends. And the, the children who are fifth graders that are now sixth graders this year are faced with the challenge of transferring to a new school and then they're gonna to have to transfer to middle school and a lot of the parents are worried about the mental health issues that their children are going to have because of this